Hello everyone and welcome <laughs> This is the Caribbean, and here's St. Kitts and Nevis. Now let's go, shall we? A glistening pair of verdant volcanic islands, St. Kitts and Nevis were first inhabited in ancient times by no one knows, and these bipedal mysteries were followed by the Taino, who ended up conquered by the Caribs, known for their canoes and cannibalism. The first European to sight the islands was Christopher Columbus in 1493. The two islands were later given the names of St. Christopher, or Kitts for short, and Nevis, from the Spanish word for snow, an unknown Spaniard saw the white clouds over this volcano and it reminded him of the ancient miracle of Nuestra Señora de las Nieves involving snow in summertime. In 1623, the English arrived and set up a settlement with the permission of the Carib chief called Tegramante. Not long afterwards, the French arrived to settle there too. Now, Tegramante's tolerance for the outsiders began to evaporate upon witnessing their increasing numbers. In 1626, he plotted with other Caribs to massacre the Europeans by night. However, the plan was revealed to the Europeans by a slave woman of the Caribs called Barber. The English and French thwarted the attack, and the resulting slaughter of the Caribs saw some 2,000 natives killed. Meanwhile, African slaves were brought over to work on sugar plantations. In 1629, the colony was captured by the Spanish with their feather hats, but they handed it back the following year. Of course, France and England later fought over the islands, but in 1713, British control was recognized, and we all know that treaties are sacred and can't- oh wait, France invaded later anyway. But they soon gave it back, and slavery ended in 1834. Quiet years of economic hardship followed, something that labor union activist Robert Llewellyn Bradshaw aimed to do something about. With the help of his cool mustache, of course, St. Kitts and Nevis gained independence as part of the British Commonwealth in 1983. The country today has a high level of human development, with an economy heavily reliant on tourism. And it does look lovely, doesn't it? Anyway, that's it for St. Kitts and Nevis, and that's all from me for now. Bye-bye!